The Bennett Marine Hydraulic Trim Tap System is an excellent addition to your boat and will help to balance loads, plane faster, and increase efficiency and performance. Your authorized Bennett Marine retailer can assist you with this project from ordering parts and offering product information and advice. Bennett Marine retailers are there to help. Remember that if you do tackle this job yourself, please follow all applicable laws and remember to use the appropriate safety gear. Before installing the hydraulic trim tab system, open the boxes and make sure all the necessary parts are in the kit. A complete hydraulic trim tab system consists of the hydraulic trim tab kit, the hydraulic power unit with tubing, the helm control unit with wiring. The control option shown here includes the relay module and the helm control. The trim tab kit includes a pair of trim tabs and actuators, wiring and mounting hardware, and the manual. In order to install the bottom mounted hydraulic trim tab, use the integrated hole to line up the plate against the boat. This particular Grady White installation uses a recessed pocket for the tab. If you are installing a standard bottom mount installation, the one piece mounting plate is secured to the bottom of the boat with the curl touching the transom and with an equal space at each end of the curl. Use the holes in the hinge as markers to drill pilot holes for the fasteners. Use a 532nd drill bit. Once the holes are marked, use number 10 1 and 1 4 inch screws. When drilling the holes, you want to drill no more than the length of the screw. Next, apply 3M 5200 adhesive sealant to the screw holes. Make sure to apply sealant over each hole all the way down and across from each other for a secured seal. Also apply sealant to the tip of each screw for extra security. Mount the plate to the boat. In this installation, the technician uses an old actuator to measure the tab angle and actuator hole placement. For most new installations, you will need to manually set the tab angle and actuator hole placement. Setting the height and angle of the trim tab is crucial. Using a gauge is highly recommended to maintain the correct position. The back edge of the trim tab should be one half inch above the bottom of the hole for nine inch core tabs and 5 eighths of an inch above the bottom of the hole for 12 inch core tabs. Using the gauge to ensure the trim tabs are in the correct position, mark all five holes in the upper hinge assisted by the drilling template included in the installation manual. Use number 14 one and a half screws to mount the top half of the actuator. Again, when drilling the holes, you want to drill no more than the length of the screw. The hydraulic lines will go through here. A three-quarter inch hole saw was used to drill an inch into the transom for this installation, which utilizes actuators with pre-connected tubing. Some installations without pre-connected tubing only require a one-half inch hole. See your specific installation manual and provided drilling template. Mount the actuator to the plate by screwing it onto the bottom first. Once the actuator is mounted, run the indicator wire through the hole. Now run the hydraulic line through the center hole. Apply 3M 5200 adhesive sealant to the top of the actuator 
and the base of your holes. Also, 3M5200 sealant can be used over the base of the holes, nuts, and wires so there's no water intrusion. After applying both sealants, now mount the actuator to the boat. Use 70% alcohol, a cloth, and a putty scraper to clean off the excess sealant around the actuator and plate. Repeat this process for the other trim tab. If you have any questions, please refer to the service manual. Remember, if at any time you feel like you're in over your head, contact your authorized Bennett Marine retailer for assistance. Thanks for watching.